All right, this is it. This is officially the end. Hello, everybody, and for the final time, welcome to Hoi 4 A to Z, a series where I play every single starting nation in Hearts of Iron 4, which, when you're watching this video, I've actually already done. That's right, looking at every single nation on this map right now of Hoi 4, I have played every single nation and a few extra. It is safe to say I have completed a task that nobody asked to ever be completed. It. it took me over a year to complete this series, obviously with a few breaks in between as we did other things, but it is finally done. A lot has happened throughout this series. I've reached new peaks on the channel. I officially, I think, during the series actually reached the most amount of views I've ever had in a single month. Uh, I launched probably the most successful t-shirt I've ever actually done on this channel in terms of sales. And we reached a hearty milestone of 700,000 little Timmies. It has been quite the journey. We've had ups, we've had downs funny laughs funny gaffes but in the end we have finally completed everything we set out to do in a whim uh quite literally a whim by the way i think i actually remember specifically waking up or either having a dream about this series and then when i you know regained consciousness after you know waking up or whatever for some reason, I decided to actually go through with this. Of course, a lot of people have asked me whether or not I'll be moving on to another Paradox game and continuing A to Z's in those, and I will have to say, uh, unfortunately, I'm, I'm not gonna do that. Other than the CK3 A to Z, where next episode will be next year, April 1st. Stay tuned for that one. Uh, I know other people uh, in, in YouTube, I think, have started doing their own A to Z's, and I definitely want to say that I do not own the concept of playing every nation in a video game from A to Z. If people want to go ahead and take on this challenge themselves, I highly recommend it. I'm, I'm just saying that because I went through the pain, which means other people should too. Uh, but enough dilly-dallying, really. You're all here for one thing and one thing only, as we went from A to Z, but unfortunately there was no Z in Hoi 4. Uh, it actually ended off with Y in Yunnan, but there are in fact a couple little nations that start with Z in Hoi 4. They're just hidden away. And we have three fun little African nations that all start with Z, but I'm gonna go with the final one at the bottom of the list, all the way there, the end of Hoi 4 A to Z. Zimbabwe. But yeah, the playlist is now complete with this video. It's all over. It's done with. Hoifal A to Z is complete. It will not be touched. The Hopefully, every video will stay up, but obviously I can't say it will stay up forever, as I think the world might end at some point in eternity. Uh, but if you want to ever go rewatch the series, you now have over 80 videos to binge and enjoy to your desires, and past Hoifal A to Z, we're gonna be going... I have documents at this point uh, in my my notes filled with videos ideas that i've just been putting off waiting to finish this series so i'm very excited to move on to the next thing you're all gonna love what's coming i believe you hope please don't leave and if you've enjoyed the series now is your final chance as a gravy timmy to hit the like button hit the subscribe type your favorite episode down below in the comments and now it's time for Zimbabwe. All right, first things first. How, where's Zimbabwe? Africa colonization. Africa decolonized. That's a very different thing. Everybody, and welcome to a series where I play Zimbabwe. As welcome to my Zimbabwe strat, where I try to conjure up a factory out of non-existent thin air. Don't worry, Zimbabwe will prosper in a decolonized Africa. Uh, <laughs> I gotta stop saying But don't worry, with our great selfless leader... Okay, I'm just gonna offend someone if I say that out loud. Zimbabwe will become a shining beacon of Africa. We have a lot of land to have fun with down here. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can also re recreate the Zimbabwean Empire, but I'm gonna need South Africa for that. And South Africa's got more friends than I currently have. And they, they also got a much better leader. Some guy called Dirky Pretorius, which... 
might be a Harry Potter spell. Ah uh, yes, I see Paradox definitely expected somebody to play Zimbabwe, as we have Zim the fascist guy who's gonna teach us a thing or two. So the strat right now is to get a factory first, and then from this one factory we will birth the Zimbabwean Empire. The one factory to rule them all. Yes, uh, uh, that's not the uh, the best amount of guns to be producing a day, but it is a start. It will just take us 5,000 days to fill up our army. It's a little awkward with the like AI generated units they've actually given us. Uh, well, well, we're gonna have to take the shovels out. Uh, not only because we can't produce them, but also because we, we, we haven't researched them, which is very confusing to us. What is a shovel? Am I a shovel? Or is I've assembled the mighty uh, Zimbabwe army, which uh, what we might not have in guns or manpower, we make up for in... Um... Thomas. Thomas and Carla. He's, he's a really uh, cool general with one attack. He's got one everything. He's the one for Zimbabwe. That's all I'm going to say. Right, bad news for our previous leader. He's gone now. And oh god, I just realized the implications of what I've just done. Yep. Notice that flag. Uh oh. Ah, uh, history, eh? What a time to be alive. You see the Kotaku articles already, but you, I probably should have gone communist, all right? But I, we're just going to roll with what we got. How long is it going to take me to get a war goal on Zambi? Okay. All right, there's a lot of Africa to conquer. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to speed this up a bit. I think. Well, there's a mod that um, facilitates this better. But if you're not uh, having any mod for this that speeds up getting war goals, uh, I highly recommend the uh, the little cheat, uh, instant war goal. It'll make uh, playing any release nations like this uh, probably a lot more bearable for you. There you go. Now I don't have to wait 285 days to justify walking across the border. Zambia, please don't have an army because I have every available man in Zimbabwe right now in this army. I can't afford to replace them. Oh, I did install a mod uh, that cores land, but I think it just cores the land immediately once you take a state. I thought it was the one where you have to play, pay like political power. Okay, whatever. Yeah, you've what? I guess we're also not Zimbabwe anymore. Uh, we're now. Yeah. Yep, just, uh, doing some fun stuff, I suppose. I don't want to be Zimbabwe, though, uh, but I can't justify if I'm not aligned. And I don't know if the communist nation is also called Zimbabwe. That's right, I'm growing. So before I invest the time to see what the, the nation, uh, the communist nation's name is, let's just go ahead and uh, use the console command to try and figure this out. Oh, it's called the Zimbabwean Democratic... Re okay, we're called Zimbabwe, that's all that matters. It's kind of messed up though, because now I'm all the way down the fascist path. And <laughs> I can't get down the communist one. <laughs> I thought I'm 0% communist. Whatever, we're rolling with it. Did a little bit of console with Wizardry. Uh, we may or may not have crippled our nation by with the communist one though now that I'm looking at it uh, But you know what? It's a good start for a nation. Look at us. We're like a little blue cancerous blob I'm assuming the goal is gonna be to recreate the Zimbabwean Empire, which maybe we're not gonna call it the Zimbabwean Empire now that we're communists It's a bit of the wrong implication. Oh my god, it takes so damn long and it's so expensive. <laughs> okay, we're still moving. You can see we are becoming a bit of a industrial powerhouse with seven factories now and one of them's a dockyard. Wow. Really useful. Uh, let's forget. I always forget I need to invent the train! Just kidding, I will not invent the train. I shall steal the train off the civilians. Uh, we'll have to do for now, but uh, we will probably have to build our own trains at some point. Uh, at the moment, as you may be able to tell, uh, we don't really have the uh, ability to do so. 280 billion days later, it's time to move into Botswana. Botswana down! Now, I think resource-wise, we should... Yeah, we do have some chromium and tungsten, which ain't really the best for 
what we're doing, but if we move around, uh, is there anything good for... N there is nothing. <laughs> uh, I guess there was rubber up here, um, in Zaire, um, but the, the problem is with that is that I don't need rubber either. Uh, also, uh, they have troops that can shoot me. So everyone else so far has not had that. We're Zimbabwe, we're democratic, and we're bringing the fun to you, Namibia. Does this political pie chart not scream democratic to you? Uh, ignore that part about the no election. Wait, is this a VP? Oh god, please don't make me naval invade that to capitulate them. I mean, we're still uh, figuring out the concept of land-based warfare, if you can't tell already, so uh, working out the sea is gonna be an extra step in this plan. God, the capital moved over there. Okay, we might have to take a shortcut here to get to it. Uh, the, the, the people of Zaire have uh, invented an army. Right, will you um, politely not shoot me too much, please? We're gonna walk over to here to finish off Angola. It's actually not that bad. Having more trouble with this one unit over here in Angola, but eventually I have broken them with the power of force attack. World War II is going on, and uh, I guess considering I have fallen into the side of communism, I should probably be on the side of the Soviet Union. I'm just not too sure how exactly I'm gonna be able to help them with my 33 factories right now. That's right. We're big. We're blue. We're communist Zimbabwe. Now we need to take out Sudan and Egypt and move our way up to relevancy in World War II. Yeah, I do complain about uh, South America's supply being bad. Well, welcome to Africa's supply. You might be asking, where is Africa's supply? And that's a good question, where is it? I'm build so many railways. <laughs> I promise I was gonna build factories. I'm a bit kind of a guy, I don't have room for both. Hey, give me another 40 something days and I'll also be into Egypt. <laughs> God, they're actually lining stuff up. Okay, let's build an airport. Never mind, the AI has built themselves an airport. Right, how many planes have I got? It'll have to do. Now ah, we got some riveting gameplay over here in Egypt. Give me 500 years, I may make a breakthrough any minute. That was, um, incredibly painful. Rest for the wicked, though. Uh, straight into Libya. Right, it's 1943. I am now a functioning country, I believe. I have 16... <laughs> I have a certain amount of factories that make me think that I can actually do something in the world. The only problem is that uh, it looks like the war's kind of about to end. Um, we'll see though, the Germans are eating rocks and have gotten just as about as far as they ever get into the Soviet Union, but the Allies are landing, so we need to figure out what we're doing here. Uh, now, I don't really need to do the Zimbabwean Empire anymore, um, because I have the mod that just gives me calls on every state I win in a war, so... The uh, only problem I'm really facing is I have nowhere to really build, um, so we're gonna have to be pretty smart with what we're doing here. Or keep taking more land. Maybe I should stop taking land, because now I'm taking land from uh, countries with troops, and those troops are sat on something called a mountain. Zimbabwean Empire um, has, has not advanced past 22 with combat and an artillery piece. <laughs> so, just remembered, if I'm at war currently, which I am, and I'm in a faction, which I just joined the strongest, healthiest, bestest, one around, I can get an extra research. What's happening to Turkey? Right? That's as far as we're going with that. And as you can see, these pesky Europeans just have got no idea how to do warfare. In all fairness, neither does Zimbabwe, but I'm sure we can do better. Right, the great Zimbabwean army has gone through a bit of a reform, in that I've shot everyone that was in the army, and instead created mountain army people. Ask what has cost me, and as you can see by my factory count right now, pretty much uh, everything we built. <laughs> uh, yeah, the pr production's looking uh, a little all over the place now that I'm looking up things here, but we're just gonna ignore that. We're gonna show the Italians a good time. Please work. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they're shredding. Zimbabwe number one! Alright, yeah, okay, so the stats on these bad boys that we go ahead and take- Yeah, 674, uh, soft attack. Yep, that'll do it. So I've had, like, the tech done for, like, sub-fours for a while. Um, they're not very good, but I was kind of assuming the Italians might try and naval invade me by but looking what's, uh, what's happening here. That's probably not gonna happen. Oh god, I had to, um, as you see, uh, kind of bring out some of the, uh, the old divisions. Um, not as advanced as the new divisions, gotta say that. Uh, cause this front line's kind of big. Oh god, I didn't even realize that, uh, yeah, they were invading North Africa, but, um, 
Don't worry. Whoever that is, Finnish Democratic, the Finnish are here to defend me. Wait, the Finnish are here to defend me? Oh, fin <laughs> Finland didn't do too well in the Winter War, I see. As you can see, I am uh, just in time for the party. Look, I even helped recapturing the core. I didn't help at all, okay? I, I just left some troops here to guard it, and apparently the Soviets just turned up and started pushing back. Uh, there's also nothing defending any of this land. Uh, I just want to point that out there. Uh, oh wait, no, there you go, an Italian unit just turned up and they capitulated, so that's A for effort right there. Look at that, the, the Great Finnish and Mongolian Defense Force retook North Africa, didn't even have to look at it. Man, Zimbabwe was quite the adventure, right? <laughs> uh, was it worth it? Was any of this actually worth it? This was, this was definitely not worth it. I think I've finally turned up against the Germans and the Hungarians and the, there is a Romanian troop over there. But either way, it doesn't matter because I think the Germans are about to be uh, not in this war any longer. Literally, as I said that, they capitulated. Uh, well, um, yeah, uh, well, the player-led conference is on. I don't really particularly want any of this land, but I'm going to take some, I suppose. The people of Zimbabwe have carved out quite the empire. Also just realized Slovakia is still alive, and uh, a few of their troops are still alive all over the place. They're still fighting. Uh, that ain't my problem, though. We are going home. Now we have one thing remaining. Boys, they thought it would never happen. Zimbabwe starting World War 3. Did they know just how little I cared about my Zimbabwe cheaty playthrough in Hoi 4? Essential DLC episode that nobody asked for. The fall of South Africa. I can now click the arbitrary button, which does nothing because we already formed a different empire. Now we are the Mutapo Socialist State. Wow, I actually preferred the other tag. Hey, look, it's a different flag. Way, and oh, this color is baby poop. Well, that was Zimbabwe. We could continue fighting World War 3, but I don't care. It's like, uh, what was it say right there? Oh, 33.7 degrees right now, where in the, where I am in this office, and uh, that's enough Zimbabwe for a lifetime. It's 1947. Oh my god, I need to stop. Uh, yeah. Um, this is the end of Zimbabwe, and thank god, because no one was ever meant to play Zimbabwe in Hoi 4. But uh, hey, if you enjoyed Hoi 4 A to Z and you really enjoyed the series, I'm, I'm glad you did. Uh, it should be a testament to its uh, brain power it sucked out of me <laughs> in that playlist. Uh, feel free to binge through it for the rest of the eternity if you ever, for some reason, want to see a Honduras playthrough. Actually, the Honduras video was really good. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, go watch that one. Go, go do it. But hey, that's it. Hoi 4 to Z is over. Um, it wasn't anything spectacular to end on, but the series wasn't anything spectacular anyway. It was just a guy playing through every nation in Hoi 4, which is, um, well, that's complete now. It's over. Why are you still here? Oh, for, for the rat. Yeah, yeah, you're still here for this rat right here? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Braun, get rid of the rat. It's over. Wind it down. It's all over. Do it right now. End it. Well, catch you in a minute then, guys.